Welcome back, Warrior, and we are going to be reading a short chapter today. It is chapter six in First Nephi, and I wanted to read a quote. You know how we love it. Uh, here, here's a quote from President Russell M. Nelson. He says, few things build faith more than does regular immersion in the Book of Mormon. No other book testifies of Jesus Christ with such power and clarity. Its prophets, as inspired by the Lord, saw our day and selected the doctrine and truths that would help us most. The Book of Mormon is our latter-day survival guide. End quote. Isn't that amazing? I love that quote. And again, that was from our prophet, President Nelson. And he's just amazing. I feel like I've read a couple of his books and... He's like no other man that I've ever encountered, ever known, ever read of. You know what I mean? Um, he's so disciplined. He's so genuine. And he really is just, he's like, he's like Moroni. And he's like a prophet of God. That's what he is. Anyway, I think it's awesome. I think all, the, all his words are so wise and so inspired and just exactly what we need to hear and what we need to do um today is uh our son's 15th birthday can you believe finn is now 15 years old it took us seven and a half years to pray for him and um <coughs> excuse me i forgot my water today we are as you can see not in the same spot um because it is super early in the morning and um, I failed to read yesterday and today we're actually preparing to um, go on a trip. Grandma's going to take care of the kids. It's going to be amazing. Um, but, and we got to celebrate Finn's birthday yesterday with friends and family and today's his official birthday. And anyways, it's been a really long, long day, long weekend, um, but it's been really great. And what was I saying? We were, we, it took us seven and a half years to pray fast and cry and work really hard to, to get Finn. And then the Lord blessed us with Finn. And now it's like double the amount of time that we prayed for him that we now, that he's now old. Isn't that wild? Anyway, I have not slept. <laughs> Because usually when we take a trip, I can't sleep. I can't sleep the day before we take a trip. Is like, is that, is that just me? Or does anybody else do that? I'm like, do you do that? I don't know. I hope you don't because it's not a good thing. <laughs> it is not a good thing. Okay, um, the, I'm just gonna start because we need to get it, get it going. Okay, so chapter six of first Nephi. Nephi writes of the things of God. His purpose is to persuade men to come unto God, unto the God of Abraham and be saved. Okay. What is our purpose? Right? I think it's important for us that, to identify what our purpose is, um, in this life. And I think it's our job to figure it out, uh, to figure out what that purpose is and what, what, is that passion that drives you and like what gets you excited um i think that i think that's what would be your purpose is things that get you excited something that the lord's been prompting you to do but maybe you haven't uh things that you've been hiding or suppressing or not uh doing even though you know that that is something that you want to do um that gets you excited something that maybe has something to do with an experience that you've had or maybe it's a skill or a talent that you have um that you want to develop or that you have developed so i think that they can all be connected so anyways i love that this is what nephi wants his his writings he wants to persuade men to come unto the god of abraham and be and be saved that's his purpose in in his life, in his writings. So I think, um, and that's the purpose that I have here in doing these videos is to persuade 
my, myself, to persuade my family, and to persuade anyone else um, to come unto to Christ. So here we go. Verse 6. And now I, Nephi, do not give the genealogy, genealogy of my fathers in this part of my record. Neither at any time shall I give it after upon these plates, which I am writing. For it is given in the record which has been kept by my father. Wherefore, I do not write it in this book, in this work. For it sufficeth me to say that we are descendants of Joseph. I'm sorry. This time it's because I haven't had sleep. <laughs> and, it <clears throat> and it mattereth not to me that I am particular to give a full account of all the things of my father. For they cannot be written upon these plates. For I desire the room that I may write of the things of God. For the fullness of mine intent is that I may persuade men to come unto the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob and be saved. Wherefore, the things which are pleasing unto the word or unto the world, I do not write, but the things which are pleasing unto God and unto those who are not of the world. Wherefore, I shall give commandment unto my seed that they shall not occupy these plates with the things which are not of worth unto the children of men. Okay, so that is all of chapter six. And you imagine like such a short chapter, we should have been on top of this a little bit sooner. <laughs> but like I told you, it's been the birthday weekend and family family first. Okay, um, the remember the live it? Read it, live it. I don't know if you can see that. Come on, focus it. There we go. Read it, live it. Okay, so it is Nephi. Uh, so it's chapter six, verse five. Okay, so it says Nephi's intent is to write the things that are pleasing to God and of great worth. Do something today that would please God. Mm. Right? I think that's great. And like if you're a blogger or if you want to be a blogger or... um or you like to write in your journal, or you like to just write like a book, something that is pleasing to God, right? That is so neat. I love that. Oh, and don't think that the only thing that's pleasing to God is for you to read to for you to recite scripture, um, or to elaborate on scriptures. There's so many things that please God, like great customer service is pleasing unto God. Let me tell you, like when people are kind, it's awesome. Um, poor customer service, not awesome. And um, when, I mean, when you're in the service of your fellow being, you're in the service of your God. So anytime you serve someone, regardless of whether they have paid you for it or not, um, you are in the service of God. And I think that's important for us to know that we represent him anytime we do anything. And, um, and I love that when we don't necessarily attach the monetary, uh, requirement there, just cause it's for, just cause you're exchanging funds. Hmm. Excuse me. Doesn't make it less of a service, you know? Okay. Um, I wanted to read this part here in, um, the Come Follow Me manual, okay, says that we're going to be reading about Lehi's dream soon. And um, in chapter eight, I think. So anyways, uh, Lehi's dream with its iron rod, mist of darkness, spacious building and tree with most sweet fruit is an inspiring invitation to receive the blessings of the Savior love, the Savior's love and atoning sacrifice. Uh, for Lehi, however, this vision was also about his family because of the thing which I have seen. I have reason to rejoice in the Lord because oh, I'm sorry, because of Nephi and also of Sam. But behold, Laman and Lemuel, I fear exceedingly because of you. Okay, so we're going to be reading that in chapter 8. When Lehi finished describing the vision, his vision, he pleaded with Laman and Lemuel to hearken to his words that perhaps the Lord would be merciful unto him, unto them. Even if you have studied Lehi's vision many times, this time think about it the way Lehi did. Think of someone you love as you do. The security of the iron rod, the dangers, the spacious building, and the sweetness of the fruit will take on new meaning 
and you will understand more deeply all the feeling of the tender parent who received this remarkable vision. Now you might be thinking, why did she read that now versus then? Well, that chapter is going to be extra long. So I figure if we read that now, then we don't have to worry about it later. And it won't seem so overwhelming uh, when we go to read that chapter. So we just need to prepare ourselves to be able to understand and put ourselves into Lehi's shoes when we um, are reading those scriptures to be able to understand them more. Uh, I love excuse me I think you know what uh I keep yawning <laughs> I haven't slept obviously and we're good we already finished reading so we don't need to make drag this out any longer uh <laughs> you're awesome for showing up and I'm sure that you're not doing this uh with no sleep but again remember there's no wrong way to read the scriptures and there's no wrong time to read the scriptures okay you can read the scriptures anytime anytime you want um and staying up super late to read them great getting up super early to read them great uh middle of the day perfect whatever okay thanks for showing up stay strong warrior